brokenness has been our series this week. Today, I want us to look at the character of a prodigal son. When you study the book of uh, Luke chapter 15, from verse 11 to the end, we get a story of a prodigal son. This son went to the father and told the father, can you divide for me my portion of inheritance? The father honored him and the father gave him a portion of his inheritance. And the Bible tells us that he went to a far country. He used all the, the resources that he had, celebrating and eating and enjoying life. Later, he lost everything. And there was a, law, a great famine in that nation. It forced this prodigal son to look for a job. And he finally got a job taking care of the pigs. The Bible records that he was even eating from what pigs were feeding on. And things was just okay with him. Eating what pigs were eating was just okay with this prodigal son. But verse 17, let us read. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. Verse 18. I will set out to go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. The first thing I want you to note there is... Verse 17 tells us, when he came to his senses. Friends, for you to have a heart of brokenness, for you to have humility, you must go back to your senses. You must forget about your position. You must forget about your title. You must forget about your education. You must forget about your background, even the suffering that you are going through. And you must go back to your senses. That is number one. Number two, the Bible says, he recognizes and says, I am suffering here, yet my father has a lot. Some of us, we are suffering, yet God has a lot. The Bible tells us that he has a good plan for us, a plan to prosper us. What did he say in letter verse 18? I will set out and go back to my father. Brokenness, detect, the, the, you, you get brokenness in this verse. You can detect that there is a brokenness now. After going back to your senses, the next thing is, he says, I will go back to my father. I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Brothers and sisters, I want you to look at your life. It is true you have sinned against heaven and against God the Father. And God is looking for those people who have a broken heart, who will go down and cry to the Father and say, Forgive me, I have sinned against you. Verse 20, verse 22 says, But the Father said to his... I want us to go back to verse 21. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Quick, bring the best robe and put on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let us have a feast and celebrate. When the father saw him from afar, the father saw the heart of brokenness. The father received him gave him the best robe, gave him a ring that means that he, he is a prince once again and celebrated his comeback. It is my humble prayer that you will have that heart of brokenness, that you will go to God and say, I have sinned against you and against you alone. Forgive me and God shall forgive you. I want us to pray 
that all of us today, we shall practice that art that our brother, the prodigal son, practiced. He went to the father and he repented. Father Lord, we come before you like the prodigal son. And we declare we have sinned against you and you alone. Father, may you have mercy on us. And Father, may you receive us. And Father, may you accept us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow as we continue with the topic, brokenness.